experience. Might be, but wala naman nagsa champion sa first round eh. Marami na na out sa first round. <laughs> Pero walang nagsa champion sa first round. Pwede lang kung Iron Mike Tyson niya eh. At yung mga matitibay, tumatayo oh. after getting knocked down. Yes. Yan talaga yan eh. Oh! Razon bringing some ankles there. Hindi ito malakas. Ang lakas eh. That upper body strength really living in the weight room during the off-season. Cyrus Nitura. And you see the results. And speaking of the perpetual side, balikan muna natin si Mickey Santos. Pag di tayo naniwala sa ating mga sarili, ano lang ang nangyari niyan? Yan ang pabunga ni Coach Mike Sagigit kanina during their huddle. And he also encouraged the bench to pour in more energy for the guys who are playing on the court. At kanina nga nakapanayam ko si Arthur June Roque from the Perpetual Altas and Wanting. He told me that I think is something relatable right now is his statement about him being appointed by Coach Mike Sagigit's main guy. At bilang isang araw role model sa kanilang team, sinabi niya sa akin sa kanya daw nag-uumpisa ang opensa at depensa ng kapunan. Ang tanong, ngayon na naumpusahan ng Miroke ang opensa ng team, makasabay ba ang iba pang mga malalaro ng Atlas? Balik sa inyo, Anton and Coach Hang. Medyo mahihirapan sila sa ngayon sapagkat etong vinil nakakinta. Daming ano, diretso, daming bala. Uh -huh. A lot of weapons in the arsenal. Tumipan natin malalim itong team na ito eh. Thirteen points in the game for Miguel Oxon, fifty percent from the field. But this is his first trip to the free throw line. It's going to be three free throws. What are the people? Yeah, clearly a foul there. Mike Sagigit leaning over like Jimmy Butler in the finals against LA. Just exhausted. Trying all of the plays, making all of the adjustments, but still behind. Hello, Looking for a spark. Si Angelo Gelsano. Point forward action for Jun Rock. Uh huh. This is actual to the Stagger Street. Roque over Oxon. Rebound for the rookie, Gensano. Razon, nothing but net. Third point, Maradito, Kai. Cielo Razon, they need to pick it up defensively. sila pwede pwede magpalitan ng puntos. Kahuko. Oxon. Oxon. Kwazo. Razon. Cross court to Nidura. Nidura thought about the three. Well, look. Roque. Roque. Art Roque three. And here we go. Perpetual making another fourth quarter run. 58 to 51. Walks on. Sacco. Sacco for the right. Why Sanko three? Austin Crusher. That is rule. Get a rebound. Pop a scrap ball. In you. Pagkakatao na magkaroon ka ng malaki na kaya tumi pensa ng perimeter pero problema ni Tuna three na bago na si Tuna si Tima. Let's get an update on the mid side with Anna Arguelles. 
Thank you so much, Anton. You know, if there's one thing I can say about Coach Charles Drew, I would describe him almost as a perfectionist because despite the Blazers being ahead in the scoreboard, there is a visible frustration to him. Ang sabi niya sa kanyang kumunan sa huddle, ang ganda ng depensa natin, ang ganda ng nilalaro natin, pero wag na natin sila bigyan ng chance. For this fourth quarter, it's all a matter of defense and consistency for the Blazers to get another win in this crucial second round. Yan muna mula sa panig ng Blazers, Anton and Coach Hammer. Wala na. They, they cannot take any chances. If the first round, they were still dealing with that hangover of making it to the finals. They were experimenting, adjusting from all the philosophies that all of their coaches have. Dito sa second round, di na pwede magpabaya. They can't take any chances. Sila ang masasabi ko dyan, do not play with your foot. Simple as that. Mag-end ka, end ka. Di na agad. Di mo na kailangan lalaroin yan. And you gotta take care of business. Simple as that. Oh, this was a big shot right here for Bethel to take a run. They cut the lead down to seven and then Mark Sacco with a gutsy three. Indura working hard on that footback. Razon, pinigay dito kay Nitura. Nitura. Nitura! Missing on the second opportunity. Look at these boys. Crash the boards. Pagaran. And there you go. Big shot by Christian Pagaran for Petwal. He is trying to ignite a run. Calling this elbow play. Oh, the rookie! Oh, good time! Wow! That I got upload. Angelo Gensano. Pagaran, able to refocus, reset, and drain the triple. And then, Gensano forcing a jump ball. Possession arrow still points in favor of Benildo, but you've got to love the effort. And now, Gozo wants to post up against the rookie. MVP Fiends flexing on the young man, Will Gozo. Detura. Bully ball. Good defense, though, by Carlos. Kahoko. Fade away. Kahuka with a difficult shot. Carla Manuel is loving this run by Benilde right now. Okay, dito ah, off the bench. Joshua Kahuka may six points if I'm not mistaken. It's uh, Steve Wilson to bro soak up minutes from the absence of Robin Ivy. Razon missing on a three. Prince Carlos. Oh. And he was looking at the perpetual bench when he technical called that technical foul. The perpetual help office for second infraction of improper bench decorum. You had second infraction of improper bench decorum, so that's a technical foul on the Altas coaching staff. During the technical free throw is Will Gossip. That's not going to help their cause. Gozum sinking the technical free throw, oh, okay. up by 12. Coming in for the Ops. Seven minutes to work with Vega, no? Let's take it back. Six Mark Denver and Vega had those two nice rolls to the basket, but when he, when he did that, that, that silly foul, he didn't have to be Yung tinulak na si Corteza on the fast break from the back. Gozo. Corteza. Just a word, Hors. So the big guys are here to eat. Sacco, Corteza, Gozo. They're better at front line. But interchangeable, no? Yung tatlo. 
scary, scary front line for Benil. Will Kozov talk to me nice? And Josh the hoop up on transition. He was finishing in traffic. Lasers trying to put this game away. Spins. It's Carlos busting out the moves. And he will head to the line for two. The Benilian Prince, Carlos. Career high 70 points today. Pero yung pressure situations, ito maganda, nagkakaroon ng reps dito si Kahukong dahil last season, that was one of their strong suits. Eh. Having Pastoran and Collier leading that squad. Piso, piso. Para kay Abis. Dahil na marami ganyan pa. Sana marami silang baong pariya. Gozo. Wild shot by Will. Oxon getting ready to check back in. Sanko looking for a friend. Oh. Nakahawak talaga. Bago pa i-set up yung screen. Nakahawak sa tagiliran ni Mix Oxon. On our vantage point, kita eh. Yung left hand dito ni Nitura. Eh no, nakakapit eh. On the waist. Bago pa kumalas, matatawagin talaga. Kasi yung referee ni Nitong was had a clear path to that hand check. Good screen. Oxon launches from the corner. Sako, loose ball picked up by Razon. Perpetual's got to stay focused. Nitura. Patigas na yung humarap. Pader. And that stopped the momentum of Perpetual. Great adjustment. Goes up na ang bumantay kay Nitura because Nitura has been getting to the rack at will. Oh, kasi kinu-4 na nila interchangeable din tong vinyl. Eh. Tsaka itong Perpetual. Uy, hulog ng langit. Ah! Tough rebound by Sanko. That's one of his strong suits. Uh, last season, one of the league leaders when it comes to offensive rebounding. Si Mark Sanko. Oxon, it's that time! You know, in the fourth quarter, he's going to be pulling up on those fadeaways. Stepping on the brakes, turning. And going Kobe on the deep. Tough shot yun eh. Yung pihit pala yun. And the confidence to take that shot. And he has that confidence because of the hours and hours of repetitions. Saka ultra green light. Ang dali tumira niyan eh. Pag ini-insayo mo, tapos mababayangan ang coach mo. Ultra green light. And he is being rewarded with, with that confidence of Coach Charles too. Kasi nakikita rin ni Coach Charles that he has been putting in the work. Sana lahat ng coaches ganun. Na when, when, when you see your players really... Uh, Putting in the work, you give them a chance. 17 in the game for Miguel Oxon as we take a look at Coach Charles Dew. Benilde looking for 
their sixth win in the last seven games after starting the season one and three. Razon from the free throw line gets it to trickle in. Pero hindi sila pwede makipagpalitan lang ng baskets dito, Anton. Yan ang nagiging team natin in the fourth quarter. Just palitan lang. Gotta get stops. Speaking of the Perpetual Altas, good jumper by Jello Razon. Double digits now for Jello. So he has bounced back from that one-point outing in the first round against Benil. But Blazers up big. Carlos. Good box out by Razon, and that's going to be a foul on Sampo. Malino yun, tinamaan sa ulo si Jello. Roque lines up another three. No. Carlos patiently waiting for the opportunity. Corteza missing on that baseline jump hook. Break. Benil is on top by 10 with 2 minutes and 25 seconds remaining here in the fourth. The road to the Final Four is a treacherous one. And you see that there is no sure victory up ahead for any team waiting in the wings na makakalaban din Coach Mike Sagigit at ng Perpetual Altas. They started off the second round well against Netran, but it's been a different story here for Benil. As Benil has locked in to complete their quest for a championship. Both teams are in the penalty now with 2 minutes and 29, 25 seconds remaining here in the fourth. Razon. Razon. Basket is good for Jello Razon. Basket counts for Jello Razon. What a game for the captain of Perpetual, Jello Razon. 13 points today, 5 of 11 from the field to go along with 8 rebounds and 6 assists. It's a block, it's a steal. 3 out of 7 from beyond the arc. Jello Razon has his fingerprints all over this game. Winning time. Seven point lead. Just get one stop. Back in business. But Benil has closers. Just a matter of who you want to go to. Pick your poison. Guazo hands it off to no, Oxon. Oxon and Guazo looking like Dane Lillard. And Giannis under the Copo right now, the way they're trusting each other. Razon missing Roque. Oh, great anticipation by Prince Carlos. 
coming up with the RVP, really big play. Itong si Prince Carlos. Coach Mike Sagigit is clarifying something here with one of our officials. Perpetual has to score in this possession. Ah, true, true. Because if they can't score and Benil goes back down the floor and gets a basket, this could all be over. Yep. On the floor for the Altas. Roque, Nitura, Abis, Pagaran, and Razon. Warning on the Altas. A very George. potent five. Mike for a sports game. Especially on the offensive side. Abyss, Razon, pulls up, Razon, no, Abyss, with the offensive rebound, Pagaran blocked by Gozo. Look at how perpetual, crashes the boards, Roque, big, big time basket. Asado at Surado, sama mo na yung pagiging asintado, dun sa tira yun. Top shot and a stop here by the perpetual Altas. Di pa tayo tapos dito, Anton, mahaba pa to. A minute and 25 in the fourth. It is a perpetual uprising with a minute and 25 to go. Wow. And look at the bench. San Pupunta, a perpetual. Bola, Nakay Abis, Roque. Too strong, Carlos, with the board. Gozum fakes, fires, no, Gozum grabs his own miss, surrounded, and wisely takes the ball back out. And it is in the hands of their closer, Miguel Oxon, for three. Sanko, another offensive rebound. Roque, nakatao ngayon. And again, six on the shot clock. Oxon from way out. Raises the ring. Perpetual's got a chance. Pagaran faking the three. Abyss, binigay dito kay Cyrus. Cyrus almost loses control of the basketball. Cello. Just oh, in time, but he misses on the layup. Bothered by the presence of the reigning MVP. And Cyrus Nitura gives up the foul. Going for that high class layup, Cello Razon. He saw Will Gozum coming. Adjusted the shot a little bit. And Gozum bothering Razon just enough to force him to miss. That hurts. Prince Carlos extending the Blazers' lead to five. What a game for Prince Carlos. Career high 18 points. Make that 19. And he leads all Benilians today in points. Golden opportunities. Para dito. Uh, Altas, they were not able to capitalize on it. And ito naman, ang mga makakalaban ng Benil Blazers dito sa second round. We interviewed Coach Charles in their last game when they won at the end of the uh -huh. first round. The and um, you, you did mention how they're going to sweep the rest of the season. Yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal of these Benil Blazers. They want to stomp their class, and they they just want to prove everybody that yeah we're here. So this right here is kind of like a checklist for Coach Charles and his players. Oh well, he do, he doesn't care. I'm told. <laughs> oh, the only thing that Coach Charles cares about is they do the things that they have to do. They improve on every game, as what the the earlier report of Hannah said. Small things, the details, winning possession by possession. 
that Sanko rebound oh. was huge. I mean, those are the little things. Hindi mo makikita gaano. Isang marka lang yan sa offensive rebound. But the effect that it has on the whole theme of the game is so important. And he's not yet done with his Frappuccino. Second half, Frappuccino looking all nice and cool. Coach Charles Q, sana all. At napatawad na lang po si Coach Hammer Martin Anton. Mukhang mapapadrive through ka mamaya. <laughs> Roque, top of the key, oh! Fouled by Corteza, and that's the adjustment that defenses will make against Jun Roque because he's taking those threes more frequently uh -huh. now. Not yet done here. I mean, even if you fouled, you need to make those three free throws, talking about Jun Roque. Jun Roque hasn't missed today from the free throw line. Seven out of seven after that latest free throw. And it's hard to block Jun Roque because he's got the hops, he's got the athleticism, and he's six foot three. Chaka yung shot mechanics na nakaset yung paa talaga eh. Kaya catch and shoot type of player siya. Siguro magdadagdag pa to ng off the dribble jumpers na sa three. But for the most part, catch and shoot siya eh. Yun yung mechanics ng tira niya. And taking care of business here. Making three free throws si Jun Roque. 27 points for Jun Roque. What a game, but he would love to get the win. 74 to 71 in favor of the Benil Blazers. Roque, his 27 is a career high. There we see Robbie Naive did not see action at all today. But he's it up. Precautionary measures. As uh, a lot of these players from the Benil side are banged up. Also, blue bug all over. Yep. But the time commentator. Natamaan din yan. Aha. Prince sa vitamin C lang katapat niyan. <laughs> ah, syempre, paborito nating supplement. Bicep curls. <laughs> so it's been new basketball. Whatever you do, if you're the Blazers, just don't Turn the ball over. Coming off a timeout and don't get a five second violation. We've seen it happen earlier. With the San Beda San Sebastian game, there was a crucial five second violation ball. Oxon holding on to it. If you were not aware, there was a four second differential yan between shot clock and game clock. Now, dahil nag time out si Coach Charles, there, babalik at babalik yung bola sa altas. Three point four seconds. From the looks of that play, though, sina Johnny Jello na foul si Will. Maybe they'll play the foul game, knowing that Will is not the best free throw shooter. Might be. He makes the first. Will Gozo shooting 67.7% from the free throw line this season. Double double for Will Gozo, 14 points, 10 boards, 2 assists. Five point lead. Razon to Roque. Inside to Abyss. Perpetual running out of time. Carlos Neduro. And it looks like it's not going to be enough. Pero tumawag pa ng foul dito. And now it's Mark Sanko going to head to the free throw line for the Blazers. Sanko a 64.3% free throw shooter. Pero ngayong araw, hindi pa tumitira ng free throws itong si Mark Sanko. And how about this rebounding? Crucial rebounds in the fourth quarter. Nothing bigger than the one 
that he got on the yeah. offensive side. That hurt. That was like a backbreaker. Body punch that knocked the wind out of you. That was like a Javante Tank Davis body punch on Ryan Garcia. Couldn't get up. Oh. Umayawi. May I pretty boy. Hey, Jun Roque, though, you gotta give a shout out to him. Very high, 27. 27, and third highest single game output this season. The highest was your 31 in Jim Miranda, and then your 29 in Miguel Oxo. And I, I, I'm so happy for Will Gozo, double double, because. He's one of the few, shout out to JP Magugliano, walking double doubles here in the NCA. Although, in terms of the numbers, see JP that the season, that would be some player to the average of double uh -huh. You gotta respect the hard work that he put in to, exactly. to lose weight and get in the best shape of his life. And that will do it. It was a great yeah, effort in the fourth the for Perpetual, but just too little too late. Yep. Kinapos, bandera kapos. Arvino sa altas, almost there. But again, that's not. So, the Benil Blazers notch another win. 77-73, they improve. To seven and four, tying San Beda. Ang laki pala nung uh, bigat pala ng pagkatalo ng San Beda. Oh. At natabla na sila ng binil. Exactly. At the fourth At spot. Bulbul sila dyan at JRU.